Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Carrying out servicing on this Riello RS70. Just gonna go through a few things, see if there's some things I haven't showed you on it. Okay, at the moment we have it in low fire or stage one. So it's on stage one at the moment. Over here we have our ignition transformer. Over here we have our motor contactor and thermal cutout. We have our incoming supply here. You can see our live one, our live two, our live three. We have our air pressure switch here. So you can see it's minimum set in there. That it will activate at if the air pressure is too low. We have our air gate valve down here. Up here we have our gas butterfly. We've got our incoming gas supply here. We've got our air pressure test point here. We have our head pressure test point here. We check our gas pressure here. And then we have our adjustment here where we can adjust our burner. We have one sight glass here. We have another sight glass here. We have our Dunks multi-block gas valve here. So we've got places where we can make adjustments here and underneath here. We have our servo motor here. We have our fan motor spinning here. You can see the level it is at here. So that is our the bottom the bottom looking up of our air inlet. So the fan motor is drawing air in. And we have our flow switch at the back of the boiler. And we have our gas low pressure switch here. And this is our PRV at the back. Okay, I managed to get my low, or should I say my first stage printout. So low fire printout and I'm gonna get my high fire in a moment. Okay, whilst we're waiting for that unit to come on, let's look at an RS50. So that was an RS70, this is an RS50. Similar setup, but we have our servo motor here. Can make adjustments and increase our amount of air we would like to allow in during the different stages. And around here we have our gas butterfly valve we have our air test point we have our gas head pressure test point we have our adjustment here for our burner we have our air pressure switch minimum setting here we have our motor contactor here and thermal cutout down here we have we have our control box here. We have our Dung's multi-block gas valve. We have our high and low on the right, our on and off on the left. We have our sight glass here. Another sight glass here. We have our air inlet here, facing the boiler. And this is the boiler we are connected to. It's a Potterton commercial. Always remember to check the boiler connected to the burner that the burner is not set too high for the boiler that it's attached to. Okay, I hope that has helped you. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye bye bye.